a man is seen injecting a substance into a frog. To his surprise, the frog develops significantly more muscle mass than usual. The injected substance is gene-edited DNA, and the man claims it works similarly in humans. Oh my, he injected this substance into his arm during a live broadcast. What happened to the man's arm? Today, we discuss gene editing. This is a genetic testing kit. You don't need a big procedure like blood sampling, just use saliva. Massage the salivary glands under the chin like this. Think of a lemon. You'll soon have plenty of saliva. After placing the saliva in the kit's container and adding the provided preservative, shake it well and send it off to the genetic testing company. You'll receive information on everything from genetic predispositions, athletic ability, to obesity and hair loss, totaling 65 genetic markers. As you can see, genetic engineering is rapidly developing and integrating into our lives. Yet, there are those who argue that someday, everyone should be able to edit their own genes, not just scientists. This is Josiah Zayner, a self-proclaimed biohacker. Zayner was a NASA scientist working on manipulating bacterial genes to make Mars habitable for humans. Disheartened by the lack of innovation in his NASA research, he left to start his own path. He now runs his own company called Odin from his garage, where he manipulates the genes of various organisms. A look at Zayner's website shows he has developed kits for genetic experiments ranging from growing fluorescent mushrooms to altering jellyfish and bacterial genes, and even a kit for gene editing live frogs. We sell these kits and offer courses enabling the public to perform genetic manipulation at home. Zayner believes gene editing technology should be accessible to everyone just as computers have revolutionized the world. The development of CRISPR, known as the third generation gene scissors, underpins such future possibilities. CRISPR is a gene editing tool that uses bacteria's immune system to combat viruses. It's an innovative tool that precisely targets and modifies specific sites within the human genome. What makes CRISPR remarkable is its ease of use, accuracy, and affordability. As Zayner suggests, gene manipulation is becoming familiar to many. Zayner also wants to demystify gene editing. He live-streamed injecting edited DNA into his body. The injected substance was a protein that inhibits muscle growth. This DNA was edited to disable the myostatin gene. Animals with a mutated myostatin gene don't need to exercise to become muscular. And humans have this gene too. So what happened to Zayner's arm? Unfortunately, he didn't turn into a muscle-bound giant. If it had been administered continuously, it might have been effective. In Zayner's case, it was a one-time injection to promote his gene editing kit. While successful in drawing attention, this is also a reminder of the risks of gene editing. Gene editing is a promising technology for treating many diseases, but it can also enhance human capabilities. Despite seeming far-fetched, gene editing is actively being conducted in labs worldwide. Furthermore, in 2018, a gene-edited baby was born in China. Human gene editing has been a reality for some time. Just as the once controversial in vitro fertilization is now widely accepted, gene editing will likely become a normal part of our lives. The question is, how will it integrate into our lives? Is it safe to use it freely for purposes beyond medical treatment, as Zayner suggests? Among criticisms that gene editing violates natural laws, Zayner counters, why should humans care if it violates natural laws? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts on gene editing in the comments. This video was inspired by Codebreaker, a biography of Jennifer Doudna.
the chemist biologist who won the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her work with CRISPR. This book will likely become a classic in the future, where gene editing is commonplace, akin to the influential The Selfish Gene. I recommend it to anyone curious about the future world of gene editing. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science unveils the mysterious.